Good day, fellow time guessers. Let's have a look at today's daily time guesser. Christmas came early this year, June 29th, iPhone. So they are waiting patiently in line to be ripped off by Apple. Okay, well, to each his own, Bronx and East, but I think we are pretty much downtown. Um, trying to find out what year this could be. I mean, that's a pretty old Nokia. Um, So could this be like one of the early iPhones? When did the first iPhone come out? 2006, 2008, something around that time? I guess it might have been. Let's. I can't decide which, so I say seven, even though it's probably six or eight. Um, but anyway, going downtown, um, not sure exactly where we are here. I mean, they probably would have. I don't know where Apple stores are located, but I would say we are probably somewhere around here. Yeah, it doesn't really show much uh, in terms of um, in terms of shops. Seems to focus more on um, restaurants and stuff. Strangely enough. But a trader Joe <laughs> shows up straight ahead. Okay. Well, still, I would think we are somewhere around here, maybe. Um, some of these side streets. 2007 was right, but we were further downtown. Is there an Apple store still around here somewhere? Apple Soho. Yeah, still down here. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Again, some very traditional thing going on here. Castigat ridendo. Mm. Flag, not not entirely sure which one this is. Hmm. 
Mastigat Ridendo. <lacht> Ridendo sounds like um, Italian. To be fair, this could be Latin even, coming from reader, uh, I think, smile or laughing. Castigat, I don't know. <sighs> French, Italian. <laughs> he looks a bit grim. Uh, people don't look Italian, to be fair. Very blonde. So, uh, even France seems a bit unlikely given how blonde they are So probably not Spanish. This amount of blondness makes me feel Scandinavian even, but this flag doesn't match with anything Scandinavian. Maybe it's like Belgium or Dutch. Dutch would be... So Belgium might be possible. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'll go Belgium here. Don't know if this would be French or Valoni. Uh, no. Um, the um, Dutch part. Let's go on the outskirts of Brussels. Somewhere here. In. Post war, early fifties, maybe. Don't know what that is. Could that even be like a tank or something? So we might be even in war times. Let's, mm. Let's go 49 here. 55, okay. And it was even in the Netherlands. Hmm, okay. Well, not too far off, luckily. Um, yeah, but it was a bit later. Uh, travel. Don't know what that says. Something. Berg, something with a V. This might say Auckland, Blockhouse Bay, Ice Cream Donut. These cars look 80s. Anything here? Not really. 
right, driving on the left confirmed. So New Zealand makes sense. Destination Blockhouse Bay. Where's Blockhouse Bay? Belmoral and Sandringham right next to each other. That's kind of cool. Um, and Blockhouse Bay is down there. That confirms Auckland. Do we have anything that might give us a clue as to where we are? In these tall houses make me think still downtown. Yeah, I would say city center going out of town in yeah like first half of the 80s <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that uh, to be that accurate uh, from a location perspective, but it was uh, late 80s, so lost a lot of points on the year, but <laughs> nice, nice location. Mm. Okay, this is, is that Nixon? Could be Nixon. Nixon president after Kennedy, right? The late sixties into the seventies. I'm not sure about this exact term. I would think we are in the 70s. Oh, <laughs> Sometimes if you zoom in too much, you can't read anything, right? Um, service doesn't say anything. Paliva. There is mm, something. It it sounds like Yugoslavian 
language to me, you know, like Croatian or Serbian language. Um, no, if he he might have visited um, Eastern Europe at some point, potentially. This type of architecture might fit. People do look European. Did he go to either Zagreb or Belgrade? might have but if he did and this was is Yugoslavia then he would probably visit Belgrade right the city hall Well, let's have a quick look into Zagreb, shall we? <laughs> Museum of Broken Relationships. Oh, that's nice. Um, something like this in Belgrade. Mm. Seems too big for this. But yeah, let's stay here. Why not? 72 was correct, but we were in Poland. Okay. 
In Warsaw, Poland. Okay. Eastern, but yeah, wrong country. And final round brings us to Romania. In the nineties. Yep, McDonald's wouldn't have been there before the nineties. So I would say that's like 94, oh maybe 93, let's go 93 here. Um, what's that? Que o un militar nacional. We Militar Nacional, there we are, that's where we are. Um, so let's just make sure where exactly we are at some intersection. I think this is the spiky, uh, these are the two spiky buildings, so we are at the end of this intersection 97 four years off okay but perfect location second perfect location i think so final score 44 719 just a quick look at the breakdown yeah two perfect years uh two perfect locations but also um, six five and four years off and uh 800 kilometers off quite in the wrong country quick look at the leaderboard on this sunday relander with a strong score again probably got warsaw or at least poland uh, but probably if he guessed poland he would have guessed in warsaw because where else would nixon go um and me with 44.7 quite a big gap to Relander um, a bit of a gap to Sandy who is again 1k ahead of Figbug Clygro <laughs> Figbug being 1k ahead of Clygro Clygro being ahead 1k roughly of Skydiver and Wisdom of Wombat haven't seen that name for a bit i don't know did someone change his username here if you did let me know in the comments who who you were before um yeah again 1k so 1k from seven to six around about 1k uh from six to five 1k from five to four another 1k from four to three and yeah a bit more then 1k from 3 to 2 and then the big gap to number 1 let's see where history hobo will slot in uh, we'll probably know soon but yeah <laughs> bit of a staggered leaderboard here uh, but nicely done all of you uh, some, some not so easy rounds this time and yeah see you again next time have a good Sunday bye bye